Welcome back as we finish off by looking at written instructions on an engineering sketch or drawing. For example, our metal workpiece here is to be made out of mild steel plate. The thickness of the plate is 12 millimeters, which is standard or stock size. On our simplified drawing, this information is given in writing, as you see here. The other written information tells us that all sizes, that is the figures written in the dimension lines and circles, are to be read as millimeters. Let's summarize or recap the important points about reading a drawing. Firstly, we must be able to see the shape of the object drawn so that we'll know what it should look like when it has been made. Next, we must be able to see the major dimensions and not confuse these with the object's shape. Then we must be able to read the actual dimensions figures to know what the real overall size of the object will be. Where features such as grooves or drilled holes are to be made by looking at the dimensions given from a reference edge or datum. We learnt that any holes to be drilled are measured to a centre line and that we need a vertical and a horizontal centre line to position a hole accurately. We also learnt that this symbol means diameter and the number tells us what the diameter actually is. Then you learn that information is written on a diagram to tell you what type of material is to be used and to let you know that all dimensions must be in millimeters. In more advanced programs, we will discuss how to read more complicated diagrams. But for now, you have learned enough to be able to do a basic marking off exercise, which will be covered in the next program of this series. Join us again when you can learn more about basic engineering skills in the Chance to Advance programs.